This video is made for adult collectors because this movie is 16 years old. God, I hate saying that. Oh my god, look at it. It's like beautiful. Like really, look at my really amazing sister actually. It's really amazing. This my first print of Celestia figure. It's that's white. so good, but also old enough one. to have been Actually, outshined have by Celestia loads of other figures. Like this, I'm starting in truck mode because the robot mode time. is very sure first movie, sure but the truck looks nice. Ish. The gap on the back does bug me. Gaps don't usually bother me, you guys know that, but this one kind of, it looks weird. And then the blue up front, that also gets me. It's more in service of the robot mode, which I guess is fine, but the blue really breaks up that nice yellow fade to red that they got really on the front. Like this is the Takara really one, and I don't know if there's any difference space. between decos, but it is really nice. Really Speaking of Takara, Takara Japan, Japan, Bai. Really this video is brought to you by Bai. Um, I got this from them. I got this sealed, actually, on their site for like 30 bucks Canadian. Uh, shipping was on this was going to be 25 bucks, so that ends up being 55 bucks, which is not bad. That's shipping and the service fees. Um, but Bai is a Japanese proxy buying service that allows you to buy things that usually aren't available anywhere else, and they'll ship it to you from stores that don't ship outside of Japan, like Yahoo Japan, Mercari. They've just added eBay, but it's not available for people like me yet, so I'm just waiting. Um, I got this, I got the, this little book, which we'll get it on video. I got Rebel Tech Optimus Prime, who is actually wonderful. And then I got this. This is an animated blackout. This was canceled over here, and I have one now, and I'm very happy. It's not a good toy, but it is really cool to have. So definitely check them out. Links in the description down below. Um, I will say, yeah. please, I say this all the time, budget for shipping. The shipping and the service fees do creep up on you every now and again when you buy something really big. So just be wary of that. The farther away you live from Japan, the more expensive it is going to be. And right now, Bai's got this sort of discount campaign that uh, goes up until the end of March where you get 80% off your international shipping for new users and an additional 5% off from Mercari. So if you buy anything from Mercari and ship it directly, you get like 80% off, well, 85 technically percent off your shipping, which would drastically help because shipping can get very expensive. Oh my, but so sometimes the thing you the find on there is so rare that it is worth the shipping and service fees like animated this blackout was. So, really, yeah, okay, thank I you very much, Bye, for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the actual toy, because that's what you're all here for. If I sound a little congested, um, you know it's very cold the in the house. So the truck is very large. Like, it's a bit larger than the Revenge of the Fallen one in some places, but it also weighs a lot. Like, lifting weights with this thing is something I could totally see. The finish, I gotta go back to the finish. It looks exactly awesome. Like the lines included, and the paint are the very pleasing to look at. Although, I don't know what this and black stuff eyes. is on my copy. Look at that. There were no There's rubber really bands on this part, so I don't know what really that nice. is. I'm not 100% sure. Someone just sort of like sneezed the, the on, the big, on big, big, my figure and put it in the box. The Canon does store on the back there, but if you don't like it, it is removable, which just leaves more of a gap if you remove it. And that kind of looks ugly. Put the gun back on. He does make noise in this mode. He makes the horn noise when you press this button on the top, so he can alert people when he goes to run them over. The batteries are stored in such an amazing spot. The gas tanks on the side are literally the battery compartments. They power the toy from the gas canisters. That's awesome. Like, you know, powering a truck with gas, powering the toy with the batteries and the gas. It's cool. But that's all the truck really does. So, robot time. Transformation doesn't really know how to get out of its own way. There's a lot of times where you do a step in the wrong order and you have to backtrack like five steps to do the one you missed. But like, it feels more natural doing what you were doing nice before, so backtracking feels very weird. It's a very strange transformation experience. And Everything moves in chunks good. though, so it's not without its satisfaction. Yeah, 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 Especially going yeah, yeah, back into yeah, truck yeah, mode and getting yeah, everything yeah, lined up like, in an order. Like, Once you like solidify everything, it's really satisfying. Like, like, but for the robot, you end up tabbing it everything is, in and it, it leads to this. This is an Optimus Prime with a truck hanging off of him. He has coattails. Weird. First, let's show off the head reveal part, because that's pretty Swick. Like Swick? Things, like, oh my what God, the hell is um, Swick me? Like, it's pretty oh sick. Like, you oh flip a switch oh and... That's the only noise this part makes, and my assumption as to why there's no Peter Cullen in this is either A, it cost too much to get him into the toy at the time, because the movie hadn't actually come out yet, or B, because...